guys, Arwen here. So I want to do a quick reading um, for the group and I pulled three cards and the first one that came up is the Six of Wands reversed. I actually got all three cards reversed. So for this little reading, what it feels like to me in my body with the Six of Wands is it feels like you are on some level looking to other people. You are, you're wanting to move forward, but you're afraid that you're going to fail in some way. So you're looking to other people, you're looking to others for guidance, and you're looking to others to almost tell you that like it's okay and you have permission to move forward. This almost feels to me a little bit like you're, you're really afraid and like you don't trust yourself and you don't, like you just don't have faith in your ability to make good choices, to move forward, etc. So therefore you're looking outside of yourself and looking to others to get validation for them to tell you that it's okay. It almost feels like a, like a trepidation in my body, right? So the second card in this reading is the Eight of Swords reversed. And what this feels to me like is there was some sort of trauma that happened to you in the past, maybe like a couple of years ago, two years ago-ish. It's not something that was recent. But because of this um, mild, I don't even know if I want to use the word trauma, but it was a difficulty, it was a failure. And every time you try to move forward, I feel like your mind, your emotions, they go back to like this event, but, but last time I tried to do that, it didn't work, or it was hard, or I got scared, or I just couldn't move forward, and like, I don't know how to do it. So it feels like you do have some reference in your memory bank as to why, you know, you feel like you're not going to be able to move forward, and you're just going to fail, and therefore you need help from others. The third card in the reading is the Queen of Swords, and it is also reversed. So... The first thing that this card makes me feel like is that it is, you are too much in your emotional body. You're overly emotional about the event. You haven't really properly processed the event. So therefore you're seeing it through the eyes of the version of you that's still kind of upset or like is holding in the body that fear that it's going to happen again. And I feel like if you either A, discharge the emotion out of your body, or you at the very least took a more logical, a more neutral perspective and looked at the situation that happened in the past again, you would suddenly see that there were red flags there. There were things that you weren't acknowledging and seeing in the moment because you didn't want to or for whatever reason, but they were there. And if you were to look back at them and kind of just, you know, be neutral, you would realize, oh, you know what? I kind of did have some inkling that that was going to happen. And it would cause you to kind of take more responsibility for this difficult situation that happened in the past. And so by coming at this from a more neutral perspective, a more logical perspective, and being like, all right, I'm going to look at like what I didn't what I didn't look at at the time or what I kind of want to be in denial about. By looking at that, it's going to set you free because what's going to happen is that you're going to then view this event from another perspective. And when you're viewing it from this other perspective, you're suddenly going to have a massive amount of clarity and you're going to be like, oh, oh my goodness, right? You're going to be like, okay, so yeah, if I had seen that, if I had acknowledged that, then I probably would have made this choice sooner. And then it probably wouldn't have been so bad. It probably wouldn't have been so hard. And yeah, it didn't really need to be a trauma and I let it be, right? So it's kind of like that, like taking responsibility energy through being neutral and looking at what you didn't want to see. And then you're going to be able to move forward and not feel so much like you have to rely on others. I just feel like you've lost a sense of trust in yourself, right? And so moving forward with this sort of trepidation energy is, is not going to help you be successful and crush it with like whatever it is that you're trying to do all it's going to do is you're going to like creep forward right because you're like right and don't you got to not do that <laughs> so to not do that you need to take the emotion out of it look at it logically if you need to process it with one of your friends and have them help you see what you're too emotional to see and really i mean in an ideal world you would clear out that emotion clear it out of the body and emotionally um neutralize it in order to be clear and then once you're clear it's going to be very easy to move forward and this trepidation energy is going to turn into like you can take a breath right it's like no I can do this I do trust myself I know how to move forward it's going to be fine right like I have a clear head 
I have a clear head, I'm seeing things accurately, and I and and then this isn't gonna need to be a trauma anymore, right? It can be like a learning experience instead, okay? All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this mini reading. I'm gonna do more of these because it's downloaded on my head too and it feels like so much fun to me. So I'm gonna have an energy party this Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time zone on my Facebook personal page. It'll be uploaded to YouTube. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to figure out how to get it on Instagram, but we're gonna do the mini energy healing and I'm gonna pull some cards and I think it'll be super good stuff. All right, guys, so if you wanna check out my personal page on Facebook at two o'clock on Saturday Eastern time, I will see you there. Bye.